Hello, so, um, back. Woosod. You know, we all go through times where it's, uh, life is going crazy, right? Coming at us. And we have to be reminded who we are. We have to be reminded that it's time to stand back up, put your shoulders back, your head up, and able to spine. Hold it in tight. Show that you're from the divine. You know, show that you walk with a crown on your head. And you can't do that slumped over. But we do go through that dark moment. And I'll keep reminding myself, and you, like my mom told me, the walk in the valley is not forever. We have the ebb and the flow of life. We have the peaks and the valleys. We have the lessons and the blessings. And I had to tell myself, get up. Because no one else is going to get you up. That's the hard reality of life. We're in this to win this and we're in this by ourselves. You'll eventually find your soul tribe. I'm still trying to piece mine together. I do know when I have true friends and family. Because they check on me when I disappear. And it's, it's for a moment though. And then that reminds me that they want my energy. They want that humor. They want that happiness. They want that, ooh, that felt so good. That breath of fresh air. But at the same time, when they dissipate away, it's like, oh, there's that illusion again. There's that, I thought I was special. So you have to be the one to put you on that pedestal. You have to be the one to remind you that not all is lost. That things are going to get better. I did not sleep last night. I tossed and turned and kept getting up. And at one point I was like, I'm so hungry. I was in the kitchen eating carrots at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and I was like, well, I don't know what else I can do right now. I think I fell asleep around five this morning. And it's funny, I feel more refreshed getting no sleep than I do on the times I would stay in bed 12 hours wondering where's life gonna take me next what is happening how is this I can't control this and it's just surrendering to the moment and I laid in bed and I thought what are you wanting me to know what am I awake for <laughs> funny question what am I awake for because those that are woke you know what I'm talking about there's times when you're exhausted and you want to sleep and you can't and then there's times where you can't sleep and you want to sleep. I don't know if I just said the same thing. My daughter was coming out the door and it just took my attention for a second. But you know what I'm saying. You always want to do something. But that's the thing with want. I told somebody the other day, the more that you focus on it, the more that you pursue it, the more you repel it. Because that is the law of attraction. It's hard when we try to play by universal rules because the world we live in, none of this is played by universal rules. These are ass backwards laws, honestly, I feel, to affect your soul, your spirit, your mentality, to keep you asleep, to keep you wondering where your next meal is going to come from. If you're going to keep the roof over your head, worry, worry, worry. It's the devil's game. It's hard to walk in faith and it's hard to pick yourself back up. But I'm letting you know right now, you have the strength, you have the courage. I know that you do because I do. If anything, this is another testament of I was broken, I felt broken the other day. I had been sat down and put in a place and there was a lot going in my life I don't share everything about my life. None of us do. We all have haters and we don't necessarily want to inform them of what's going on in our lives. And I believe in spell work. So especially if someone's doing spell work on me, I don't want to let them know that they're possibly achieving and they just need to get a couple more people to add to it, you know, and maybe they'll take me down because the battle in itself is already hard enough. It's it's not where we want to keep fighting and fighting and fighting. At some point, we want to live. 
we want to spread that love and light and it's hard because our light tends to irritate demons and there's more demons than light workers so in a sense you're going around and you're just irritating everybody and then when you irritate them they want to poke 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 they want to get you out of character they want to show you who you are who they think you are having no clue who you truly are and when it comes down to it they can't handle the fact that you're not them that you don't play by the same malicious rules that they play by so the more that you can focus on that inner quiet and try to keep that balance and keep yourself grounded and speak with a higher power and take yourself out of the mix of corruption and manipulation and greed and lies the more that you're going to open up up here it's funny I did fall asleep for a second I know I did because I had a dream and it was a weird dream and I thought man that person still hasn't left me alone because there was someone in it that I don't think about they're not a part of my daily concern honestly when I hear about them it's like oh okay wish them well shoo shoo and close the door on those thoughts but when people are entering your dream state it's normally them pulling on your energy just a simple little hint about how people try to get you to reach out to them and any door that you've closed turn your back on it walk away don't go back to something that failed thinking that it's going to be different because like Einstein says you keep doing the same thing over and over wanting a different result that's insanity we already live in an insane world let's bring some consciousness to it just know that this is a hard path to walk if you are trying to spread love and light because there's people that are on fire and your blank your your flame makes them burn they don't feel the fire until they're among the true light and when they get to that point they just want you to go away they will try to snuff you out any way possible it's hard to believe we live in that world but there's always a spiritual battle going on that a lot of people are not aware of it's hard to talk about it because the more that we open up to it we're showing our gifts to the world and then the naysayers and the haters come the trolls that want to shut you down and maybe that's what I'm being forced to do right now is to come out and start spreading truth among the lies and I know for a fact I will be marked as crazy if this were back in the 1800s my life would be put at stake but when it comes to spiritual warfare this is where we're going and all I can tell myself is buckle up buttercup it's about to be a fun crazy ride so if you're down get up here I'll help you get up we can do this don't give up let your heart open up let your mind open up expand and bring something to the world that's going to make it better sending you peace love and light